Hey developers and admins, Jack Wallen here to help you make tech work. At some point in your career as a developer, you're going to have to map an IP address to a host name in Linux. This might happen when you're deploying a Kubernetes cluster or a Docker Swarm, or maybe you want to simply make it easier for you to point a web browser to an internal site or service. So instead of typing 192.168.1.11, you could simply type the host name you've mapped in Etsy Hosts. Although this is a pretty basic idea, it's one that you'll use quite a bit as an admin or a developer. Let me show you how it's done. The only things you'll need for this are a running instance of Linux and a user with sudo privileges. The first thing you'll do is log into Linux and then open the necessary file for editing with the command sudo nano slash etsy slash hosts. When prompted, type your sudo password. You'll already see a few entries in place. The two at the top are for IPv4 addresses that map the loopback address to localhost and your hostname. The entries below that are the same, but for IPv6. At the bottom of the file is where you'll add new entries. Let's add an entry that maps IP address 192.168.1.11 to the invoice plane name. That entry will look like 192.168.1.11 space invoice plane. What we've done is map the IP address to the hostname. You can also add a fully qualified domain name after the hostname, such as 192.168.1.11 invoice plane invoiceplane.monkeypants.lan or whatever FQDN you need. Save and close the file. You can verify it's working by issuing the command ping invoiceplane, which should ping the address 192.168.1.11. You can even use the nickname mapped in Etsy hosts in your web browser by pointing it to http colon slash slash invoiceplane, or in my case, http colon slash slash invoiceplane slash invoiceplane. And that's all there is to editing the Linux host file and mapping IP addresses to names that wouldn't otherwise be visible via regular DNS. If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.